this is calcium score. This is a coronary CT. Everyone notice the difference between these two images? What is very white over there that's not white here? Blood vessels, right? We're injecting contrast into the veins. So this is your aorta. This is a part of your pulmonary artery. This is the left atrium. This is the coronary artery. This is a, a picture of the internal lumen, the inside of the vessel, compared to this, where there's no, no, no uh, contrast. And you can see how you can really see the inside of that vessel much better here than you can here. Here you see this actually is the same patient, exactly at the same level. This dense stuff, on a, when you don't give contrast, the densest thing that you see on the, the whitest thing is calcium. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a lot, actually quite a bit of calcium in the coronary arteries. I can't tell you that this thing right here is causing a blockage. But what I can tell you is that this person has a lot of atherosclerosis. So they're at pretty high risk for developing a problem. I don't know where that problem is going to happen. But I know that their chances of that happening are relatively high. This, I can say, OK, this vessel looks open. And so despite there being calcium here, I, see, I don't really see a, a narrowing here. So if this patient had chest pain, I'd say, it's probably not from their coronary artery disease, all right? Now, the thing you have to be careful about is with coronary calcium, if you just are looking for calcium, not all atherosclerosis is calcified. This is a coronary artery. This is the beginning, and as it comes out, it should sort of slowly taper and get smaller. And what you're looking for is you're looking for sort of an abrupt tapering, where it gets narrower very quickly. And if you can appreciate, this thing is actually some atherosclerosis, which is not calcified. And there's sort of a rapid tapering from here to here. And what, what will happen? A coronary calcium CT, screening CT, you won't see this at all. So there are certainly patient, people who have things that are significant, which we won't see in a coronary calcium CT. But that's not the goal of the calcium CT, is to look for a specific area of narrowing.